welcome to our unboxing video of the new S Pro 2 Connect Kit from iPhone. It is designed to work with especially iPhones, iPhone 4, 5 and whatever comes next, all the way up to a Samsung Galaxy Note 3, even if it has a case. Let's take a look at what's in the box. First, we have the user manual, and directly on the user manual, we have the NFC tag. More about that later. First, we take out the S Pro 2 itself. Then we have the Rock 2 mount suction mount that you can attach to the dashboard or directly on the windshield. Comes with an aqua pad and we have the so-called Titan grip. So this is how you assemble the S Pro 2 to the Rock 2 mount. Let's take the tightening ring, place it in the holder like this tighten it and it's ready to use. The S Pro 2 features some great rubber details. No cheap foam that's going to fall off when it gets hot. The same with the feet at the bottom. They are made of over molded rubber that will stay for many years of hard use. We want to highlight four really great features with S Pro 2. The first is that the legs are movable. You can push them left or right. So here's an example where that's usable. Let's say you have an iPhone 5, you plug that in and you have the charging port connected. There you can still take that aux in. If you can want to connect it to your car stereo, you can plug it in and both of them work in the holder. The second feature is that for all the iPhone models, the camera is free, unobstructed. That means you can capture video, take photos while you drive, even keeping it in the holder with a case on it. To adjust the S Pro 2, just release these two buttons by pushing them out, raise it to your desired number here, just set it for whatever you when you want, push one in and then push the other in to lock it in place. Now it's locked in place. The third feature we want to highlight is the fact that it is compatible with all cases. Even if you have a thick Autobox type case or an extended battery, you can see here that the latch and the legs are perfectly sized to fit any case. So what do you do if you have a large phone like a Samsung Galaxy Note 3? with a large case on it, a thick case on it. You open up the S Pro 2 and you just set it at one of the highest numbers like that. And now we take the Note 3 and this works perfectly. If you have a phone like the Samsung Galaxy S4, that also works. Just lower the setting a couple of steps like this and lock it in place. And now it works perfectly for the Samsung Galaxy S4. The S Pro 2 features several cable clips in the back. The cable clips are designed so you can take your charging cable, whether it's a micro USB or an Apple cable, and just plug it in here and leave it like this and then unplug it into the phone when you need it. So when you take the phone out, it doesn't fall to the floor. There are both horizontal ones and also two vertical ones. So here's how the cable clip would work. Let's say you have a micro USB cable, you place it in this clip, you have an Android phone with a micro USB connector, just plug it in like this and then insert it. At the top of the S Pro 2 you find two cable clips that are a little bit smaller, they are designed for an aux cable, so if you have a phone with an aux cable on the top, like an iPhone 4, you can leave the aux cable plugged in here. Easy access. The
included Rock 2 mount has three features that we want to highlight. First is one solid piece, which means that it's absolutely vibration free. Great if you capture videos or images as you're driving. Second, on the bottom you find our quite well known stick anywhere material. The stick anywhere means that you can attach it directly to the hard surface on the dashboard like this and it's gonna stick absolutely fixed and of course you can attach it to a windshield just close it like this and the suction will attach to the windshield if this surface gets dirty you can wash it with soap and water let it dry and the stickiness will come right back after it's dried. Third, we want to highlight the 17 millimeter ball joint here. That means that the holder can turn sideways, you can keep it vertical, you can angle it in any position that you want. So that's the three main features of the Mark II mount. Here's how the NFC tag works. Just remove this from the user manual and then use the double sided tape and attach that to the dashboard in a convenient location or you can use this little line and hang it somewhere. And let's take a look at what you need to do on the phone. Take your Android phone and click on the Play Store, click on the search bar, find iBolt and download the dock and drive application and the dock mode application. Also, make sure that NFC is turned on. On a Samsung phone, on a Galaxy handset, go to settings and the NFC on and off is here. So just turn it on or off by clicking this little button. Just be aware that different handsets, different phone models have the NFC trigger points at different points different locations. So for example, the Samsung Galaxies tend to have it in the middle, like that. So now it triggered the dock and drive mode. Other phones tend to have the NFC trigger location higher up or lower. The HTC One, for example, has the NFC trigger location up here. So when you tap, when you tap there, it asks the first time if you want this to be the default, and you say always, and now it starts. There you go. Once you have downloaded the Dock and Drive apps, just insert your Android phone into the S Pro 2 and you are ready for the awesome Dock and Drive experience. The Dock and Drive becomes your new home screen when you drive. So here you have your favorite icons, the most usable apps when you drive in big icons. And you can set, for example, all your music apps to be easily accessible. You can also set your favorite people that you call to be easily accessible via one-click calling. Use GPS navigation, for example, and once you have set your destination, you can just press the home button and you come back to the dock and drive screen again. If you press the speedometer once, you come to what we call the main screen where you have a large speedometer with a compass. You have a media control where you can control what's playing, like you have media control buttons where you can start and stop your music. The media control supports Spotify, Pandora, Slacker, and more. You also have the address where you are at the top. If you hold the speedometer in, it can become a clock. Great if you use this app at home. So that's a short overview of the dock and drive. When you are ready to step out of the car, just press the dock mode control and the phone out of dock mode and you have the normal Android interface again. Thank you for watching the unboxing video of the S Pro 2 Connect Kit. Uh, we are very sure you will love your S Pro 2 when you're out driving in your car or if you're using it at home. 
For those of you that have an NFC enabled phone, you will surely love the dock and drive features and what the NFC tag brings, the automatic feature. Thank you for watching.